Hello and welcome back to another magic video. Today we are playing standard and we are looking at the Rottenmouth Viper deck again, but this time I have built a Rectos version of this deck simply because of a new card, Disturbing Murph. I really think that this card is really cool and because of its second triggered ability I wanted to build a deck around this card because when you sacrifice it you manifest red and I find this card to be very interesting in a deck that works towards the Rottenmouth Viper as a win condition and in our early game we want to bring out a few creatures and a, uh, enchantments that are expendable for us, especially with a card like the Spiteful Hexmage that also makes an enchantment token when it enters. This can be our turn one play and turn two we can bring in the Mirth and sacrifice the mate enchantment, uh, draw two cards and still have some sacrifice fodder to work our way towards the Rottenmouth Viper. I fill the deck with a little bit of interaction with Cutdown and Bitter Triumph, a little bit of reaction with Not Dead After All which can bring back a creature when it dies, uh, hopefully our Rottenmouth Viper for another ETB trigger and then I have added cards that we want to sacrifice for the Rottenmouth Viper discount, the Greedy Freebooter, Hopeless Nightmare, Scavenger's Talent, a great card that can also make us more tokens in the early game and can also be sacrificed into the Rottenmouth Viper. We have the Spiteful Hex Mage and the Clockwork Percussionist for the 1-1 one, one Haste and yeah, when it dies we get some uh, Exile Advantage. So it is still a budget deck. I haven't made too many optimizations yet, so we will also jump into the Bronx rank with this deck when it comes to standard. I haven't played in a while, but I wanted to build this deck and I'd say let's jump into some games and see how this deck does. Okay, let's see. We got our Viper, we got our Hex Mage, we got Murph. This is like a perfect opening hand. Would have been great to be on... Okay, due to the fact that our opponent has a red mana open, I don't think that they will play too much burn right away. But I would prefer to bring out Hex Mage and immediately have not that after all ready. We can play into it. The priority shifted really quickly. So let's just go for it. Interesting, okay. So it seems like they do have specific creature removal. Okay. Attacks while you control against double strike, okay. Which basically means... We'll first draw two cards, get a free two, offer the trade. They do not take it. We have two cutdowns at the ready. Let's see if they can immediately bring a creature with power 4 or greater. Interesting, okay. So we might see the plus... okay. Oof, okay. That was a quick one. GG. Okay, we are on the play. We got a free Buddha, we got interaction, we got our Viper. This is not the best hand that I was hoping for. Yeah, but I think we will give it a try. Okay. Let's try to hit them for one. Let's see if they want to go for cutdown. They don't. I do expect them to have something. If I go for Disturbing Murph now and they remove Free Buddha in response, we completely lose the trigger. So we are not too much in a hurry. So we can just pass. And next turn have Not Dead after all ready to be able to interact with anything they want to do. This was a bad play. Could have played... Ah, it doesn't matter. Still adds up. If I lose mana here or there, doesn't matter. Perfect. This is the window that I was hoping for. Alright. We got a land, that's fine. Bring him back. And sacrifice the enchantment. Draw two cards. Perfect. Could go for another freebooter, but we will just leave it like this. See if our opponent taps out for a Glissa or something. No, they don't do anything. Interesting. I do expect them to have some removal for our Rottenmouth Viper, so I'm not too hyped to play her into it. Go for the Throat. Okay. Now I do feel a little bit more comfortable to play into it. This is fine. I guess this one pays for itself. 
And then let's go for Viper. One, two, three, four, five. And pay a black. We do scry. Disturbing Murph. Nope. Yeah, let's manifest a land here. Bring on Viper. If our opponent spends their turn with removing Rotten Morph Viper now, it ain't too bad. We can still bring out Hopeless Nightmare here to maybe go for an upkeep scry if we do have to. Okay. They got rid of Turtle. Yeah, okay. Let's go for the throw for Viper. Do we go to our draw step? I think we will first scry and see what we find. Yeah. Interaction, okay, there's a land below. We attack for five. And see what our opponent got. I do think that I should maybe add a reanimation spell. I somehow have the feeling that it would help out. And I'd say that this is GG. GG. Okay, we got fast lands, we got Murph, we got Clockwork. Sand seems pretty okay. Mage, turn one. Let's go for clockwork. Hit our opponent for one. Okay, our opponent. Maybe the combo deck again. Yeah. Okay, they do play reanimator Truxa. Basically means we gotta go fast. Okay. Alternak also. Prankstar. Mm -hmm. Totally fine with paying free life to kill Prankstar. Got no answer for Shielded now, but let's force a discard here. Okay. We got Portal. Down to 10. I don't know at what mana cost does reanimate. Okay, twice say its name. Land, probably say its name now, yeah. Willing again. Can they bring out Altanak now? They do have one engrave. No, they don't have enough in their grave yet. Okay, but they just found a board wipe. So we gotta smack them as hard as possible for now. But to be fair, they don't have double black, so yeah, we got them this way. Who needs a viper? Okay, we are on the play. Clockwork into Murph. Seems pretty good. Take it. Okay, opponent starting off with Mace. So nothing to hide here. Let's swing in. Okay. Found a bunch of lands and a little bit of interaction. So we got our land and that's basically it. Okay, land drop case. Interesting.
Okay, we completely ran out of gas. Opponent is playing a bunch of land drops, so I expect something maybe like a Lumra or something. Seeker's pretty good. I do sadly think that I will have to give them that one explore. And after that I will definitely get rid of the Sentinel. Okay, from the worm. Sadly gotta take it. We can discard a card. Clockwork, okay. At least something. We can use it as a blocker and... Well, we can also swing in with our restless vents. We can stay back. Get rid of a land. Draw another one. Now they got their 6-5 trample. Yeah, they do control a desert. No dead after all already, but at least a disturbing muff, that's something. more cards. Still no Viper. Even more lands on top. Wow, what's going on? Yeah, let's leave it like this. They bring out their trample creature. Diversifying their threats. Going down to eight. At least killed one of their creatures. Oh, we are totally good with lands. Okay, now they can play from the top of their bib. I do believe. I gotta pay it like this, as I would love to have several activations of Not Dead After All already. Calling Rebirth and Bitter Triumph, these are cards that I would have loved to draw. Okay. Viper hits the battlefield. We can animate the vents and then still tap it before damage to use Not Dead After All. Gotta keep that in mind to preserve some damage. That's a fight for. Okay. All we need is interaction from the top. Anything to handle the scout. Okay, opponent sacrifices the case. Ah. Okay, we attack with Viper. And then, if we attack with him, we get to trigger. I do believe that attacking for another two is reasonable. Let's get Viper trigger first. Okay, it resolved. Okay, now they are forced to block Viper. We got Coiling Rebirth, okay. Let's see. 
We got no Viper or we got a Clockwork in our grave. Gotta keep that in mind. Colossal bringing in a desert to ping us. That's fine. Let's see. More deserts for two more. If they have another one and kill us with deserts, that would be crazy. Okay. Going down to three, playing another land. And saying GG. GG, guys. Alright guys, in the intro I showed you a certain deck list and over the games I adjusted that one for a little bit simply because as soon as a Rottenmouth Viper hits the battlefield you see that removal flying and yeah, it is pretty much immediately uh, taken down, which is simply why I have added a few coiling rebirths simply to reanimate, give my opponent a card and then uh, bring back a Viper with another token, which also gets the counter. I have reduced the kind, uh, counts of Scavenger's Talent. Overall, I do really like the deck and I would keep experimenting with it, but I do have to say it is super cringe. It is extremely um, vulnerable to instant speed removal or also stuff like Leyline Binding and so on. So this is really, really um, a vulnerable deck. It is super fun as I do think that the Rottenmoth Viper is a great card. I will still look a little bit into it, what I could adjust, what I can do better in this deck. But overall, I think this deck is super fun. It is not the best deck, but it is a lot of fun. And with that, I would say I hope that you enjoyed this video. And then I would say see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.